Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Alexander Hernandez versus Austin Hubbard. It was actually supposed to be Nate Landwehr versus Austin Hubbard. Nate Landwehr, Nate Landwehr no longer in that matchup. Obviously, it is Alexander Hernandez. Alexander Hernandez, 14-8. and eight. He's 1-4 in his last five fights. 32 years old, 5'9", with a 72-inch reach. Fighting Austin Hubbard, who's 16-7, and 3-2 and in his last five fights. 3-1 and one in his last four 32 years old, 5'10", with a 71-inch reach, 1 inch in height for Austin Hubbard, 1 inch in reach for Alexander Hernandez. This is the tale of, of, of really three rounds, tale of two rounds. I really think Alexander Hernandez is either going to start this fight off very well or he's going to end this fight off very well. We, we've seen it before. We, we, we've, it's, it is nothing new when it comes to... Uh, freaking Alex Hernandez now if I think this is actually crooked let's fix that real quick now if you look at it Austin Austin Hubbard average fight time 12 minutes and 23 seconds 950 for Alexander Hernandez here's where it's interesting strikes landed per minute 4.11 to 433 for Hernandez accuracy is 45 to 41 for Hubbard Strikes absorbed, strikes absorbed per minute, 3.74 to 4.66 for Hernandez. Defense is 56 to 55. Now I will say, take down defense for Hubbard, even though I hear it says 65. I don't think it's, it's I think it's worse than that. Um, I, yeah, I think it's worse than that. Take down average for 15 minutes, 1.75 to 1.06. Accuracy is 50 to 31. Defense is 65 to 59, and they don't really go for submissions. Question is, does Hernandez fight the better competition? I think the answer to that is yes. I think Figla is not great. Hullabau, I think, is, is better than people say he is. Pichel is still good at 42, which is crazy. You know, Joe Selecki's decent, but Damon Jackson's good. Bill Algio's good. Jim Miller's awesome. A uh, Billy Billy Q decent. Mercano obviously good. These are all fights that Hernandez has had good moments in. In like the Bill Algio fight when he tried to go down a weight class. What happened? Looked good early. Gassed out. Loses. I mean, how many times have we seen it where he's had moments in these fights and he doesn't finish very well or he doesn't start out very well? I think it's a big deal. But, yeah, I, I really like Austin Hubbard in this one. It does worry me a little bit because when I think the best version of Alexander Hernandez shows up, I think that version beats Austin Hubbard. And, last thing, I forgot to talk about this, actually. If you look at it, you know, Alexander Hernandez, he's a decent finisher. Eight finishes out of his 14 wins. He also has five in the first round. He has three TKO wins, TKO or KO wins in the, in, in the UFC. But he's also been finished four out of his eight losses are also by finish. He's six and seven in the UFC, which is wild because he started two and zero in the UFC against Benio Darius and Oliver Alburn Mercia. And then guess what? Cowboy came and kicked his head right off. It was incredible. But yeah, either way, I can't believe he got the cowboy fight right after Alburn Mercia. That seems crazy. That seems wild to me. But whatever, I guess. But yeah, I, I, I do think the best version of Alison Hernandez does some really, really good things against Austin Hubbard. I think Austin Hubbard is very durable. I think he's decent. Seven finishes out of 16 wins. He's been submitted three times. Alexander Hernandez is a decent uh, grappler. Decent I don't think he has a submission win in the UFC. Sure doesn't. But that doesn't mean you can't, you know, doesn't mean you can't submit somebody. But, yeah, I, I, I'm actually going Alexander Hernandez. I just think the best version of Hernandez beats a, a, a any version of Austin Hubbard. Again, the question is, is, how prepared will Hernandez come into this fight? Will he be mentally focused? Will he be a good version? That's the question. So it's a it's a, it's a it's a it's a fifty fifty fight. But Hernandez, I think, gets the job done. 
on his best night, he beats up Austin Hubbard. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know who you are picking. Put your comments down below, predictions, all those good things. See you at the next one. Peace.